Well, we are back. Part two of the compounds install. Can't see your face, Yeshua. The, all the dark lighting in there. I'm so dark. So I didn't want to have the camera rolling earlier. I didn't want to give him too much credit, but um, <laughs> we had to break this housing here, the exhaust housing from the turbine housing, and it just required a lot of sledgehammer swiftly. How would you say you were hitting it? Just kind of like letting the weight come down and hit well, it? Well, for a while we were just kind of tapping it, like because we were scared. But I just started taking big swings and letting the momentum smack it. And then it just four swings in, it came loose. Yeah, it just shook loose. But yeah, so we've got to rotate that so that the whole point of having to rotate this is because of this oil drain here. So if you want to keep rotating that down, Joshua, like you were. Are we going that way or this way? Uh, down that way. So you want the drain to be about lined up with this back here. And then, uh, well, the fill line and then the drain is gonna be shooting downward. And the, and the importance of that is so that when you have your turbo mounted on your manifold, your oil feed isn't like sideways and then the drain is like aiming up. It's gotta be aiming down, otherwise you're not gonna have good flow. The oil is gonna run dry, go into your turbo, next thing you know you're just gonna screw everything up. And that wouldn't be fun because then you have to replace your turbo after you install it, so that, that wouldn't be great. So, But yeah, so that's the progress and um, Thanks for the help, Josh. That was that was awesome. Subscribe to his channel. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below. Cool. He's getting back into the swing of YouTube. We got the exhaust attached. We put the gasket on the oil drain line. Yep. On that turbo, and. I think we're getting ready to set this one on. And hopefully you don't have any freaking issues. <laughs> Might have to like twist some things and whatnot. <laughs> All right, well that was tough. Hope you enjoyed the view. We got the nuts on. 9.30 p.m. after many a drop nuts. We are almost Well, there. everybody, we're back in the shop next day. My buddy Jeshua, huge thanks to you, man. By the way, I appreciate you stopping by and helping me out with more than you bargained for. But he helped me get some more of the compound turbo kit done, which was much needed. It's just a lot easier working on this kit with two people. You don't need two people. I did the same kit myself, just myself, when I was 17. I mean, so any of you guys who are any what mechanically inclined, you can figure it out, it's not that difficult. But it was just so much more help having two people cause like, you know, lining up some of the bowls and gaskets and whatever else, you have know, one person who can kind of nudge the big turbo or the small turbo, another person drop the bolt and thread the nut. It makes everything go a lot smoother. We're gonna show you what all we did get done last night. And according to the diagrams and the kit, instructions and stuff, we're pretty darn close to being done. So there's the big turbo, rear exhaust, Downpipe is on, but not fully tightened yet. We're just, we were just trying to make sure we get everything else bolted on first. We've got the band still loose for the big turbo exhaust housing and the front turbine housing, but I'm gonna tighten up the rear one because the exhaust housing can be tightened up now that the um, exhaust pipe coming down off the small turbo to the big turbo is set and bolted in place. I can tighten the rear clamp, which is that one right back there. Uh, and get that tightened up and then once I situate the you know the rest of the piping kit and I know for sure where this portion right here has to stay lined up then I'll tighten that one before I start putting the piping on and then we should be good to go now the rear down pipe is not tightened up yet I'm gonna actually get down there now that everything else is bolted in place that needs like to be situated. I'm going to actually make sure that that's lined up with the exhaust and then tighten that down as well. Because once you put the piping kit on, it's gonna be a bear to get in there. You're not gonna wanna try to get down in there. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we're just gonna get to installing the piping kit and uh, that'll be it. And hopefully everything runs great. See if I can show you guys what I'm working on here. Show you a little trick. So. Here's the downpipe coming off the turbo, right? The five inch downpipe with the adapter, which pusher does supply the adapter for the five to four inch exhaust or the five to fives. If you, whatever you choose at checkout, that's what they give you um, to fit up to your exhaust. So it needs about two more inches before it'll reach. I've got the clamp for the adapter um, tightened up, but what we're gonna do 
is put a ratchet strap, hook it on here on this cross member, and then get the other portion of the ratchet strap and hook it onto one of the exhaust clamps down there. You guys know you mess with the Crocs. But you're gonna hook it onto one of the exhaust clamps down there and then ratchet it until it will kind of close that gap. Because here's the thing, it's a pain in the butt to try to hold clamps, line them up, hold your impact gun and pull the exhaust to try to make sure it's lined up and seated properly. Use leverage to your advantage. Use whatever you gotta do to make it easier so that you get a good clamp on it. So uh, we're just gonna use the small ratchet strap, hook it on there. If we need a bigger one, I've got plenty of bigger sizes. So we're gonna get two of this and Watch how easy this works. There's actually a perfect hole in the frame right here, cross member. And then I'm gonna put the ratchet down towards the exhaust hanger. Just like that. The compound turbos are officially installed. The whole setup, the piping kit, the oil feed lines, the new manifold, the new gaskets from the busted bolts, to having to drill them out, retap, all that stuff. It's officially done. And I want to say a massive thank you to everybody that placed orders on LMPgear.com to enter to win this truck. If you don't place the orders, we can't afford to do this type of thing. And I just need you guys to fully understand that. That's the way this all works. We live on a financial planet. Everything costs some money, unfortunately. That's the way that it is. But in another sense, that puts value to things, so it's a good thing. But it does cost a lot of money to do this. I tallied up everything we have into this truck between uh, maintenance bills and parts and the truck itself and all new paint and interior. Over $28,500 into this second gen 12 valve five speed just so that one of you guys can take it home for the price of a hoodie, a hat, or a t-shirt. It's pretty awesome to be able to do this kind of thing, but we couldn't do it without you guys who place the order, so we appreciate that very much. All that being said though, come check this thing out. It's freaking sick. So I turned it off so you guys can hear me, but uh, the kit is in, it is done. We got the Banks Twin Ram Air in there. We've got the Pusher Compound Turbo Kit. Of course, this is the main event right here. Oh man, this thing, uh, yeah. It look, it, not only does it look good, it's gonna be functional, and that's one of the most important things about this. I mean, yeah, looks are pretty important. I mean, you know, looks have a little bit to do with the satisfaction of the job being done, but, but it really is gonna really help the functionality of this truck and keeping it cool and all this other stuff and just super happy with the way that it turned out. For everybody wondering, this kit says it takes four to eight hours. Keep in mind, that varies on your skill level. It took me, let's see, three partial days. When I say partial days, I'm talking like three days of putting in about five or six hours on it each day. And that was because of a few things. A, the back of the turbo housing, I told you in the previous video, three out of the five bolts snapped. So I had to drill, all those out, retap it, and then install that back portion and redo all that. So that took a couple of hours extra. Then the manifold studs, the old manifold, were not coming out, and then I got to the last one, and that one just snapped in half. So that sucked. That took two, two or three hours of added on time. So other than those few things, the overall kit probably took me about probably the top end of that, so maybe eight or nine-ish hours overall, but other than uh, those few complications, it really is not uh, not that hard to install. If you're somebody who can read a, an instruction manual and figure things out and you have some wrenches and some socket wrenches and stuff, 
you'll be able to do this on your truck yourself. Uh, pusher intakes is where I ordered this kit from. We've used them for a lot of products in the past on the white first gen we just gave away recently. That has a pusher intake kit on that, an intercooler piping kit. My dad's flatbed 12 valve that has a pusher compound turbo kit. But my dad's flatbed has a different turbo, big turbo setup on it, same small turbo. But this is an S471 versus, I don't really remember what his big turbo kit was, um, but it was an S4 something. Love the Pusher products. If you want to check them out, maybe you haven't, or maybe you have, you're on the fence about buying them. Guys, their stuff's awesome. My dad's flatbed truck, it's had the same kit on it for almost four years now, every bit of three years though. It's been an awesome kit. We haven't had to do anything with it ever since, other than I think replace one boot because it was rubbing on something, which didn't really have much to do with the kit. And I do highly suggest taking your time on the kit, guys. Like, I'd rather it take as long as it did than what it did the first time I did this, and I had to take the entire kit in and out of the truck, I think, three times because I wasn't torquing things to spec. I wasn't, you know, checking oil lines and forgetting gaskets and forgetting, I forgot the tin gasket on the back, you know, where the small turbo and big turbo exhaust connects. And I, you know, like I, I just was messing up everything because I wasn't paying attention. I was just looking at the pictures and going, oh, I can do that. And just started throwing things on. It, it, it's just not great. Just don't do that. Um, it's fun when you think I don't need the instructions and I can just rush through it real quick. I'd rather go slow and it take 15 hours and not be, you know, completely overwhelming than rush through it and have to do it four or five times because of stupidity. So um, if you take your time and you can read instructions and be due diligent, you won't have any issues with it. Let's actually go for a little drive here. excited to see how this kit works. I wish I could get you a better camera angle, but I'm, fil I'm filming solo. You can hear that big turbo whistling. our flatbed truck that's like you know 500 plus horsepower it's enough noticeable difference where it it puts you back in the seat a little bit and it I mean it lays it down we're gonna make a turn up here and see if I can get a little bit better footage for you guys that big turbo and it just goes and it I mean it, it puts you back it's freaking awesome like I said it's not like you're gonna shred the tires in fourth gear going down the road fast but oh it's got some more juice it's freaking sweet I wish I could have gotten those compounds on sooner between being at paint longer than I had realized I'd agreed upon and uh, miscalculated the time frame in my mind. I was thinking I was gonna have more time to get it done beforehand than I did. My own fault for a misunderstanding of what was said. But between that and some other things, it didn't work out until the day after the giveaway's over, but it is done. The truck is ready to go to one of you with $5,000. So yeah, best of luck to you guys. We should have a winner by about this time next week or so. Usually takes seven to 14 days after the closing date to have the non-biased drawing done by a sweepstakes agency. Not a sweepstakes agency, 
the sweepstakes agency that we've always used. And then we will have a winner for you guys very momentarily. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys are awesome. We're actually loading up right now to go buy a truck and a tractor, so stay tuned for that. Lots of content coming your way. Feels good to be back in the swing of things, working on stuff with wrenches and doing that stuff, getting staying a little busier. It's frustrating at times, but I wouldn't want it any other way. Thank you guys so much. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.